Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can fix our very first defect, which was related to the product description. It it was related to the uh, product description length, and also it was uh, related to the uh, design of this particular table because when we were adding the long description, the table was getting some smashed. Uh, like uh, it, it was it wasn't uh, looking quite good so we have fixed that one so we have our next defect which is related to the home page so the next defect says that home page product detail grid should be consistent irrespective of image height and width so over here uh, let me just show you quickly on the ui what is going wrong on the home page so on the home page previously we have added this grid so as of now if you see like I have the two different images and two, I mean, they are exactly same in terms of height and width. So that is the reason we are getting the consistent results on the grid. But let me just try to add one more image, which is kind of a vertical image. So when we try to add any vertical image or uh, any kind of image, which is having the uh, greater height. So in that case, our grid will not look quite good and our uh, like our um, um, description and maybe the price buttons they will also get uh, they will also uh, not get the proper places to uh, on the grid so that is the reason we have to fix this particular thing so let me just show you quickly let me just try to add a painting again flower and let me just try to use a painting flower itself price let me just keep it as like this and let me just try to browse the image and for this particular time let me just add one image that is called as a yeah so this particular image so if you see like this is kind of a vertical image let me just try to browse it and let me just try to add the product if i just go to the show product detail yes the third image is added and let me just now go to the home page so now if you just go to the home page you will be able to see the difference between the two grids and the third grid so third image that we have used it is pretty big in terms of the height and that is the reason it is it is capturing the more space in the grid and that is the reason our button is not getting uh, like uh, not getting any area to place and also we are not be able to see a price as well so these kind of things uh, like I just observed after creating uh, my last session and that is the reason I just created a defect for it and I just thought we have to fix it as well because these are uh, the small things but are at the same time these are really very important things. So let's see how we can fix this and how we can make it consistent enough. So for this let me just go to the VS code and let me just add few more styles. So we have to just go to the VS code and home component HTML file over here. If you just see what I have done is on line number four, like on line number three, I have used a matte grid tile, which is nothing but our uh, like a single product, which is nothing but a single product inside the single product. Uh, I mean, inside the matte grid tile, what I have did is I have just added one row and inside the row, I have just applied one class as well. So which is a home page product image class. So this class I was specifically designed for the image, but I applied it on the wrong places. So that is the reason we are getting the uh, this particular um, like uh, this particular uh, output on the browser. So what we have to do is first of all, let me just remove this particular class from this uh, row class. And then let me just add one separate division for my image. Let me just use one division and let me just cut this image over here and let me just paste it like this. And now what we have to do is we have to create one more class that is called as a image container. So let me just use image container and obviously we have to create this particular class in a CSS. So let me just copy the class name and let me just go to the CSS file inside the CSS file. Let me just put dot image container. And then over here we have to apply some styles so very first style that we have to apply is position and I'm just going to give the position as a relative and then we have to give a size uh, we have to give a height that's well so for the height we have to give some fixed value to the container so that 
uh, beyond that fixed value the container will not take any um, height so that is the reason i'm just going to apply the height and let me just keep it as a 200 pixel let's see uh, like if needed we can change it as well and now let's see on the browser what i'm getting as an output so on the browser now it is looking something like this so this is the reason we have to apply our home page product class to the image so let me just go to the html file again and let me just use class with this img tag and let me paste my class name like this and let's see what happens on the browser and yes on the browser now i am getting uh, quite good output and if you see like our third image is also fitting in some area and we are able to see our uh, like all the buttons and all every single thing perfectly fine the next thing that we have to fix it we have to fix the alignment so if you just see it is not a vertically and horizontally centered so we have to take it vertically and horizontally center so for this let me just go back to the css and let me just go to the go to this particular class that is home page product image and let me remove this margin left and margin right so i have to keep only maximum width as a 90 percent and maximum height as a 90 percent and now let me just apply position and this time let me just use absolute so over here for the image container we have used a relative so now for this uh, home page uh, product image we have to use it as a absolute and then what we have to do is we have to just use some margins so let me just use top is equals to zero percent or just a zero and then bottom is equals to zero so top zero and bottom zero will make sure that it is vertically center similarly we want to take it as a horizontally center as well that is the reason we have to use a left zero and a right zero like this and lastly we have to apply one more as of now let me just save this code let's see what happens on the browser and yes still we are not be able to get the exact output and the only thing that we have to do is we have to just use it as a margin and that is called as a auto and let's see how it is looking right now yes so now if you just see like uh, when we use a when we used these classes the images are vertically and horizontally center and it is looking perfectly fine the only thing that we have left back is like we have to apply some padding for this uh, uh, like description uh, and the product name and this um, button as well because uh, all these things like there is no any space between the uh, grid border and these uh, buttons and all so we have to apply some padding as well let me just try to apply some bootstrap class let me see whether it works or not so let me just go to the html file again and for this row let me just try to apply p-5 let's see how it looks first and yes so when we apply p-5 so p-5 is nothing but a padding and 5 is a value and this is a bootstrap class this is not a like custom css class this is a bootstrap class so we are just applying it to the row and now if you just see everything is looking perfectly fine so now if you add any kind of image or if you add uh, anything it will just not take more than the 200 pixel i think we have given the 200 pixel as a value yes so it will not take more than the 200 pixel value and it will just take uh, like all the buttons and everything will be uh, like consistent enough let me just do one thing let me just try this with a 300 pixel let's see what what how it looks if it looks quite good yes i think for the 300 pixel it is looking quite good so uh, like we don't have uh, much white space and uh, it is taking like as expected um, height and width so i will just go with the 300 pixel if you just want you can just change it to the 200 or maybe whatever your uh, choice you can just apply that particular height over here and uh, like uh, we have fixed our second defect as well so if you still got any kind of defect or any kind of uh, things that we should fix let me know into a comment section and we will just take care of that in our upcoming sessions so i hope you enjoyed this session and i'll see you in the next session